dear brothers and sisters, as we go through this very trying period, I am reminded of um, many good things that will come out of this period. Number one, we should always have a very happy attitude. We should keep happy because a merry heart doeth good like medicine and a broken spirit dries up the bones. We should keep happy and look beyond uh, this episode like and think of things like um, having a family reunion once again or going out on a short holiday or meeting up with friends and just enjoying a time at the beach having a barbecue. Think of happy thoughts and keep happy. Stay positive, number two. Look beyond and whenever ask, people ask you, how are you feeling? Stay positive by saying, I'm feeling excellent. I'm feeling great. God is good to me, which is very true. We are all in a very, we should all be in a very, um, uh, in an attitude of thanksgiving. And that is my third point, to always have thanksgiving. There's so much to be thankful for. I'm reminded of um, the TV program that I watched where a small family of six, the, the family of a rickshaw rider in India who do not have any means of income and they're just eating rice and I was so thankful to God that I have a warm meal, I have a beautiful home, I have a beautiful family, I have everything that I need, a good government that looks after us, so I'm so thankful. So at night before you go to sleep, have an attitude of thanksgiving. And in the morning when you wake up, thank God. Say thank you Lord that this is the day that you have made and I will rejoice in it. Have an attitude of thanksgiving for indeed there are so many things to be thankful for. So my brothers and sisters, I leave you with this thoughts. Number one, to keep a, a very happy attitude. Number two, to stay positive because we will overcome. We will overcome. And number three is to have an attitude of thanksgiving for the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the victory and we are more than conquerors. Amen. God bless you.